Hey everyone, welcome to the good news coming your way. Okay. Alright, first off, I I'm not really one to, to oppose someone's belief. If some readers actually believe that there's no gender in tarot, then so be it. But for me, how will you address someone or at least you know you know like a person if it's a he or she and why is it that there's like a king and queen in in the tarot that's a gender i think that's a fallacy anyway whatever okay it's the uh I feel like it's the uh, time for the trolls again because we are in a Mercury retrograde. Free shadow face. Anyway, Aries, happy success. This is what's going to be coming your way. Hold on. Right. Happy success. I don't know if it's the if the light is way too much or what. Hold on. All right. I think that's better. Yeah. So let's see. Aries. You're cutting loose. You're cutting off some unhealthy habits, toxic people, situation. Yeah. It seems like you're also going to be traveling. Yeah, you're going to be traveling. And I feel like some of you are going to be in for a, like training for management or higher management or for a higher position. It, this could also be like um, you're going for, oh, some of you are going to be getting a scholarship. A scholarship grant or could be a sponsorship for a like a short course or training. All right. You will be much more focused on what you could become. You know, like you're looking more into your full potential, like, I want to be like this. I will do this. I will eliminate this. It's like you're also going to be in the mode this week that you are reflecting what are the things that keeps on repeating in your life and what are the things that you just keep on, you know, you just keep on um you just keep on i'm being blocked again um you you know that you just keep on falling for mistakes okay that you keep on stumbling upon so you're going to be changing your ways all right this is there is something that kind of awakened you Some of you, if you've always been a victim of an office politics, you feel like I'm not here to become Mr. or Miss Friendship. So I'm just here to do my job. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get along with everyone as much as I could. But right after work, if I hate you, I hate you. Okay. So you're detaching your emotional self to your professional self. Okay. And this is actually a good thing. Now... The other good news, you also have somebody that you hate around your workplace that will finally be either leaving or resigning. It's an Aquarius. I mean, you know how it is when you hate someone around the office and, you know, like every day you wish like, oh my God, like, I hope you're, I'm not going to see you. I hope I'm not going to work with you. I hope you're not going to talk to me, you know, that kind of thing. But at the same time, I feel like you're just going to try to be happy, okay? As far as the money is concerned, uh, last two weeks of the month will be much better for you. Or actually, you know, the third week will be much better for you as there will be much more opportunities, calls, clients, negotiations, and meetings. And there will be some approvals that will also be come your way if some of you are also applying for a position or job 
there is something better coming your way. All right. I don't feel like it's going to be coming your way. All right. Let me shuffle again. There's something that's going to be that, that's better coming your way. It might not be with the company that you're expecting it from. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to use this deck. Will they be getting the position that they're applying for? Ooh, six of Wands, the strengths. Looks like you're going to be signing a new contract soon. All right. Now, this position, whether this is like a, like a higher position or could be, I don't know, something like contractual. There will be a contract that you're going to be signing. And it's not just going to be for six months or like a temporary thing. But there is something that you need to sign up. Or you need to sign. Um, the problem here is this is not going to be starting anytime soon. Uh, the training also, you have to go somewhere. But you're going to come back, all right? this job placement because the person that's still you know holding this position is still there so this position will be available around may but you are going to be accepted for the position but for the meanwhile you have to go through training all right okay so let's take a look now at taurus you know what i i want to use this card more Oh, loving man. Okay, you're going to find yourself a very loving, dedicated, and loyal and faithful person. Some of you, if you've been, you know, let's say for because uh, Taurus are actually good in savings. All right. But there's always a downside to it. Okay. Uh, some of you, your savings or your investment, okay, you're going to find that there is already like, a, like an interest. It has already accumulated an interest. Or if this is like stocks or binary or options or whatever. It seems like you're going to find yourself smiling, okay? Something unexpectedly blossomed or there is something that... You know how it is when you're trading and you just leave your, you know, your, your investment there and then all of a sudden when you check back, it's, it has already accumulated like a huge amount of money? Even though you're not really actively trading, you just leave it there. So that's something that will be making you happy and will be giving you like a whole lot of um, hope this this week. All right. Some of you, there's going to be like a, like a new portfolio that you're going to be looking into. You're going to be more, you're going to be actively looking into, um, what do you call this? Uh, investments. Some of you, you're going to be like investing into missionaries that you know will be, I don't, I'm just getting those, those vendor machines. It's like you're looking into that, that even though, you know, um, I don't know, it's like you're looking for a side business and look at this, whatever it is, it will be giving you an extra load of money. Okay, so whatever investment that you're going to be getting into this week or this month, you're going to find yourself like, you know, like, you're going to be so proud of yourself that you did the right thing. So for those of you who are applying for a new job, will you be getting the job? like it yeah especially if you're looking into the air industry metal industry 
military. Yeah, you're going to be signing a contract. You're going to be moving as well. And you're going to love it. So it's a big yes. Okay, you're going to be starting the job within a month from now. So the problem here is you might not spend the holidays with your family. Okay, some of you need to go to training. Gemini. You're going to be more at peace. All right. You're going to be more at peace. Oh my god, Gemini. All right. If you're going through some legal stuff, it will be in your favor. You're going to be getting good news this week. All right. Some of you, either you're going to be resigning, especially for some of you, it's been like, you know, like going through a dispute with your HR or with some labor stuff. You're going to get paid or you're going to win. And at the same time, you're going to end up like walking away from the company because of their unfair treatment and, you know, their messy organization and management. Now, if you are thinking if you're going to be getting a new job, I got the nine of cups here, but you need to protect yourself. All right, because your old company might actually backstab you or um, give you some bad reviews or something. Um, you need to save for a little while, okay? Will they be getting the job that they are applying for? You need to balance. There are three offers that's going to be coming your way. Do not rush into anything because there is, um, for this month, whatever that's going to be coming your way is not yet it. But the first week of December, there is something that will be offered to you, but you might have to move right there. It, it might be a little bit far from you. But this is something that will be giving you more financial stability, security, plus the offer, okay, for this is really huge. It's something that you're going to be like, okay, you know. And they're also going to be answering for your, your movement and, I mean, your moving and your accommodation for a little while, probably for the first six months until you're going to get settled okay all right cancer the honoring path you're going to be respected for something that you're doing people are also going to be admiring you for whatever that you're going to do Okay, some other people would try to turn your boat upside down, but you're going to show them what crazy is. So you're going to be fighting back. You're going to be in your brand new energy, okay? If some other people, you know, are used to like manipulating you, you listen to their advices. Now you feel like right before you believe something, you're going to be making a research and they're going to, you're going to say, you're going to tell them that that's not true. That's not true. Like, look, you know, like I verified it. It's not true. And you're also going to find out that a lot of people, you know, for how many months or for probably for so long that you have trusted their words and their advices. And you're going to find out that you've been lying to me after all this time. Like, how could you? So, you are all of the, you're going to be in your brand new energy. Okay, sorry. Let me put this yeah, you're going to be in your brand new energy and you're going to be so like in your power. You're going to be in your flower power. <laughs> so for those of you who's like um, applying for a new job, you're, will you be getting the position? 
if you're going to be so picky, I feel like this is going to take some time for you, okay? Uh, there is also a decision that you have to make in the air industry or metal industry. I mean, don't be so indecisive about it. Some of you, you know, if you just recently resigned or quit your job, I don't really feel like you are going to be rushing into finding a new job. As I feel like you, you need a sabbatical break from everything. You're also a little bit burned out. But with the Eight of Pentacles, once you're fully ready, all right, um, I don't feel like this is going to be at the intended date, but you're going to be getting something, okay? You're going to be landing on a new job in a new position, but not at the intended date. You know, let's say, for example, you want to, you want to, you want to, you know, relax for two weeks and then you feel like, oh, I'm going to go back applying around December. You're not going to be getting any job around December. It will be sometime around after the holidays. All right. So you better be ready. All right. Leo, you're going to be going through a transformation or you are going through a transformation. You're going to be mirroring back whoever it is that's been betraying you. And this person is definitely going to have a taste of their own medicine. Okay. Uh, people that are also going to be admiring you for your strength and resilience. Okay. There are some things that you're also going to be leaving behind, especially if it's no longer profiting you or doing you any good. All right. So... Uh, there is going to be a job offer that's going to be coming your way, but this is entirely up to you if you want to take it or not. Because I feel like you're going to be very loyal to your company or to your boss. You know what? One thing that I can advise you, all right? If you're currently an employee, there's no such thing as loyalty, okay? Yes, the company will admire your, you know, like you sticking around with them, you sticking around with them for how many years, despite and in spite of the econo uh, economic turmoil. But if there is a chance for you to expand and, you know, like spread your wings somewhere, probably you want to take a different program or, you know, if you want to make some growth somewhere, do not hesitate to leave your spot or your comfort zone. Because, you know, by the time that you're already old, the company will be needing somebody that is younger than you. And where the hell is the loyalty there? And when the time comes that, you know, like another, um, what do you call this? Another, um, recession will come. The first people that they're going to be laying off are those that is, that's been staying with them for so long. You don't get paid for your loyalty. Okay. So if there is something that can actually like you can spread your wings. I mean, there's nothing wrong if you're also going to be ambitious. You need to keep on moving on in life. All right. This offer, think low and hard about it before you say no. Because you love your boss, you love your job, you love your co-workers and stuff like that. But it's it's entirely up to you. Which is, I feel like, you know, the offer is really good. It's really tempting. All right, Virgo. Decrease. Probably, Virgo, if you've been working and working and working, it's time for you to lay back or to... Uh, stretch out your feet on a couch and watch Netflix. Grab a pop, grab a popcorn, and you know, like enjoy your time. Stop and smell the flowers, okay? Good cups. Some of you, you've been like, mm -mm -mm. 
healing from a relationship betrayal. All right, but you're gonna, but you are gonna be very defensive about this person, and you're gonna be like guarding yourself against this person. You know, you know that they belong to the garbage. <laughs> anyway. Now, I feel like, you know, you're currently healing from a very painful situation. So you're going to be throwing them to the garbage. <laughs> All right. You're going to be walking away from that. Um, and it seems like right now, you know, whoever that's going to become your race, you feel like, no, stay away from me. Okay. So you are also going to try and probably like catch up in your reading I don't feel like you're gonna be staying at home but you're gonna catch up because you're gonna more in your readings hold on so some of you are gonna be some of you are gonna sit down on your laptop even though this is your rest this is your kind of rest okay you're gonna be busy trading and while you are, while you are, you know, healing, you're going to be making money. So that's your kind of rest, okay, <laughs> or relaxation. You're also um, planning to travel, or you will be traveling. Good for you. Okay, some of you, you, ooh, king and queen of cups. All right, the right person for you. This is like your, your exact, um, so I feel like the good news for you, Virgo, is all about love. It's not about money. Well, money and love. Uh, you're going to be meeting the right person for you. With the king and queen of cups here, queen of wands. Probably that your ex or the one that you threw away. <laughs> And a garbage bin is actually a fire sign for you. You're, you know, you're gonna tell them like, for me, you're dead. I'm done with you. And whatever it is that you, I don't know, maybe like whatever residue that you still have left for this person, you're just gonna keep it. You're gonna be busy loving yourself. Some of you, if you actually live together, you're gonna be taking out of your stuff outside their house, or you're gonna be like throwing their stuff outside of your house because you're done. So, you're going to be making money, all right? And you're also going to be meeting the right person for you. It, it, you know, the time has come. They're finally here. Okay, that person will be here. So, I feel like you have a good message. Oh, okay. Let me... For those of you who's actually um, applying for a new job, will you be getting it? Will you be getting it? I feel like you're applying at the wrong company. Are you applying for the wrong position or you are pining for the wrong one? So what will they be? Ten of Cups, Judgment, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. There is something that will be offered to you. Could be from a family member, relative, or within your circle. Even though that right now, probably it's because of your pride, you know, you don't want to accept this. I feel like this is, you know, you need to be a little bit more practical. Accept it. Um, it will be, it will be this Thanksgiving. All right. The companies that you're applying for, I don't really feel like something is going to happen to that. But there will be a, re a recommendation of a family member or within your circle or it could be a relative. Take it. Libra. Loving woman. Okay, some of you singles, you're going to find yourself a very loving person. Okay, you're done with the false starts. Okay, you're done dealing with the bare minimum. And for you, it's like, um, if it's not something that will suffice me, I'm not going to take it. You're done living in a lie or living in denial. 
You're done supporting people that are just like feeding from your generosity. You're done dealing with leeches. So you are also loving yourself. I feel like the loving woman is also you're going to be loving yourself more. Because I can see here that some of you, okay, you've already dealt with a lot of people that just took advantage of you and feeding from you. Some of you, if you're already in a relationship, you're dealing with someone that they only love you when they can give, when you can give something to them. And this is something that's already like opening up your eyes like, huh, so you're only going to be good to me whenever I can give something to you. And when I don't have anything, you are this, you know, they, they, they usually show or throw any brash attitude towards you. So this is also something that's going to be opening up your eyes. Some of you are already stepping out of a very toxic relationship. Now, as far as making money, you're going to be happy because there is something that will be turning around. Some of you, there is also like a major property that will be sold out. Or you're going to be buying a new property or you're going to get approved for a home loan, car loan, or something like that. Okay? Yep, and there will be a reason for you to celebrate. Some of you are going to be signing up for a new mortgage or you're going to be approved for a remortgage. Or you're going to be buying, oh sorry, settling your loans, uh, paying your credit cards in full, or settling down your debts and everything. Because you're going to have enough means. Some of you wants to live debt free life. Okay, so you're going to have extra money coming in. I'm picking up somebody that's going to be winning lottery. Hold on. Will they be winning a lottery? Bet on it. It might not be the jackpot, but you're going to be winning. You're not going to go home empty handed. Or you're not going to be like, you know, empty handed when you bet on this. You also need to let go of something that's more of a liability to you, you know? You need to let it go. I pick up that some of you, there's like a, like a house that will get sold or you're going to be buying new properties, okay? Or you're going to be shopping for properties, wow. All right, so for those of you looking for a new job, will you be getting the position? I'm picking up some of you will be having like a side hustle, like a side job, more of a, uh, as a bartender. And yeah, it seems like you're going to be, um, some of you are going to be making money as a bartender or could be some, something about liquor. Oh, oh, and if you actually have money. Then I feel like some of you are thinking about buying a club, starting a club, or opening up a club. Okay. Or moreover, some of you are going to be making money through bartending. Okay. All right. Scorpio. Finding the courage to get out of a very sticky situation that you have started yourself. You need to face the mirror. It's time for you to go through a transition. Accept the facts that there are some things that's already out of your control. You're going to be receiving some good news about an acceptance. Some of you are going to be getting you're going to be getting accepted in a university, at a training, job, scholarship. Uh, could be if you're opting for like home rental and you're waiting for the approval. Yes, you are going to be getting it. And you're also going to be making money even while you're sleeping. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, just be careful of some relatives that are, you know, that will be very envious of your fortune. Okay. 
I'm telling you, there is something that you have started in the past that you can even make money while you're sleeping. Okay. You also have a new job coming in, so no need to ask if you're going to be getting the job. Okay, but okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'm going to ask if you already have an existing application. But there is a new job, a new offer. You need to pra yeah, you need to be practical. Don't be so picky, all right? And don't haggle too much when it comes to the salary. Do not state your figure. Let them make you an offer, okay? Now, to those who's, um, who apply for a new job, will they be getting it? Don't sign the contract right away. You're going to be getting like an on-the-spot offer. But I don't really feel like, you know, you might just be, you might just regret it later on. Okay, do not rush into anything. But if you've been unemployed for quite some time and you feel like this is the first offer that you got, don't, much better for you to go back to your old job because they've been looking for you. They've been looking for you. All right. Much better for you to go and, and uh, go back to your old job, to your old boss. They've been looking for you. And you're going to be offered a much better position or salary. All right. Sag, joyous fun. Are you going to... Some of you are going to be spending a lot of time with your kids, your, your family, siblings. Okay. Or it could be some younger family members or relatives. Some of you are also going to be visiting a theme park. You will be planning ahead about your life, like what it is that you really want to do next year. Some of you needs to settle a like a child support. You're gonna be ch you're gonna be um crunching some numbers. Uh, some of you you have an offer in a different country, or in a different place, and you're still balancing your energy towards this. All right. I feel like choose wherever the opportunity is, okay? Because you're also looking into wherever you're comfortable or something. Yeah, you're going to be a little bit more practical. Ten of Cups. Some of you, this is like a huge offer, but it entails a big sacrifice as well that you have to mm, be away from your family. You know, some of you, this is like a, like an offshore thing, or if you're an engineer, it's like a big project that you might have to go, you know, somewhere, okay, while you're building this. Some of you, you're going to be um, working for a plant like a nuclear plant or like a power plant or something like this is a huge offer but it's up to you because there is a sacrifice that is needed here okay now for those of you who's actually looking for a new job will they be getting it the second uh job offer take it the first job offer no the second job offer is better the third one, no. Definitely not. Okay. Capricorn. Mm, the secret temple. Healing religious. 
nurturing your spirituality, your spiritual health, purging, the, uh, spiritual detoxification, releasing the negative vibrations and energy. It's like you're, you know, you're like you're, you're into your zen. Somebody from the past wants to reach out to you, but they don't know how. Four of Cups. This person has some hidden feelings from you. Could be dealing with the water sign. This person walked away from you, abandoned you, ghosted you. All right. This person has been watching you for quite a while. Look at this. You could be on TV. <laughs> Or you could be on the uh, social media. This person has been watching you probably on a bigger screen than their laptop or desktop. And it's like, you know, they want to reach out to you, but they don't know how. They're still thinking, you know, like, uh, should I do this? Should I do that? It's actually because of their pride that is getting in the way. This person, you know, like... It's like they're, I don't know, like they're brainstorming too much how to reach out to you. Whereas they can just simply like throw you a message and say hello. Okay. Now you could be dealing with a water sign or you could also have a lot of feelings for this person. Or, or this person could have a lot of feelings for you. Could be both of you. Okay. This person have ghosted you or walk away from you. Could be you are the one who also walked away from this person. Uh, you're going to be hearing from them or there will be some communications probably this week. But this person might actually come a little bit arrogant because they don't know how to act around you. Or they don't know what to tell you or how to start a conversation. So they might, you know, like wrong words might actually get in the way and it might just end up in a you know, like bitterness or hurt. Could also be dealing with the earth sign. Yeah, but you know, like, um, I'm seeing a lot of communications here. I just feel like some of you really needs to address the elephant in the room. Both of you, you haven't been speaking for so long because you've been living in denial, both of you. And... It's time for you to address this, okay? This person might actually walk away or turn their backs on you, but they're going to be back with the truth. Because this person is being awakened to come into your path. They might have some se some second, second thoughts. Yeah, they might have some, uh, some second thoughts about approaching you. I don't know. Probably they think that they have to make you an offer, which is... What? Okay. By the way, your finances, Capricorn, the, for the next two weeks will be really awesome. Okay, you're going to be back into the groove. You're going to be very actively working. Your mind will be in your work and making money. I feel like you're going to be too workaholic for the next two weeks. All right, because the opportunity is there and you're, it's like you feel like your mojo is back. Okay. This person, whatever it is that they're going to be offering, is not. Okay, just start off as friends. But, you know, I, I'm sure it's going to go beyond that. But uh, and this is also, you know, something that you have been wishing for. Okay, both of you are actually wishing for it for this moment or for each other. So. All right, so I got the Nine of Cups. This is so good for you. Okay. For those of you who's, uh, looking for a new job, will you be getting it? Capricorn, okay. If you're going to be making a negotiation with, uh, with an offer, be realistic. Okay. Otherwise, don't take it. The second offer. I feel like you're, you're, like you're going to like it, but you're going to be overthinking it. I don't know why. So the first job offer, no. Okay, use your intuition if this is something that you want to take or not. The second job offer, you're going to like it, but you're going to be overthinking it. And the third one. 
The third one involves traveling, so it's up to you. I mean, in overall, any of these three will actually be good. It's just that you need to probably fix your mind. And don't be so picky. Aquarius. Kindred partnership. You're finally going to be in a relationship with somebody. Aquarius, you are cutting off or building walls against family betrayal. You're also going to be uh, coming up with a solution about some number crunching or some uh, issues with your finances. You're going to be practical with your approach. Some of you will also be receiving an offer somewhere in a different city, country, or state. Okay, some of you are also going to be making money while you're traveling. Some of you are going to be like a travel blogger. Or while you're traveling, blog your travels. You're going to be making money from it. Side note. Okay. Well, there will be a reason for you to celebrate. First off, you have, okay, work first. You have a project that will be coming to fruition. Okay, that will also be getting, it will be leading you to another client, another project. Now, for those of you who's actually trying to have a family, try to get pregnant, then this is going to be good news. You're going to get pregnant, or there is somebody that's going to get pregnant, or you're going to be receiving that somebody's pregnant. If you are not yet ready for this, if you feel like you are not yet in the mood or you're not yet in the right kind of financial state, then be very careful. Because the baby, I feel like some of you are already three months, three weeks or three months pregnant. Okay? Now, to those who's applying for a new job, will you be getting the job? Yes, you're going to be signing the contract. Yep, you're, some of you are still like um, working for a new, for another company right now and you're going to be getting out of that. Ooh, the offer looks good. And it seems like this is as up. Okay, you're going to be starting this soon. So I feel like you're going to have great, uh, great holidays by next month. Pisces, friends and colleagues. All right. Choose your people, choose your crowd, because people will actually know you or will, you know, like, um, what do you call this? They, like, you will only know a person's tr uh, true color or their nature through their friends, their choice of friends. You have superficial friends, it means that you're, it means that you're also superficial. Because flocks, of, as, a, as a birds of same feather, flock together. <laughs> Okay. Pisces, you are dealing with uh, betrayal and toxicity left and right, but you're going to be overcoming this. 
you are going to be winning this, surpassing this, overcoming this, all right? You need to get out of a very, some of you are actually in a toxic or violent environment. You need to get out of this. I got the Three of Swords, okay? Don't wait for your knight in shiny armor. No one here is a damsel in distress, okay? You need to save yourself while you can. So you are going to be freeing yourself up. You're going to be like traveling, going somewhere. Some of you will be landing on an unexpected job, all right? Or some of you, there is already a job that already awaits you as long as you're going to be getting yourself out of that toxic situation. It's like you are sitting in a quick mud and you don't have any plans of taking yourself out. You need to help yourself, okay? You are not in an eight of swords mode. So, some of you could be a writer, okay? Or you have a talent in literature. This is something, or it could be like children's books. Uh, you're going to be known for this. All right, or it could be that you have, you know, you have, you, you love kids. Some of you Pisces, please, you know, you need to stop, do some birth control. Okay, I'm picking up a Pisces that is like, I'm picking up a Pisces that is, um, you know, What do you call this? You need to stop getting pregnant. Some of you, you already have like 8, 9, and 11 kids. All right. So, anyway, for those of you who are applying for a new job, will you be getting it? Definitely, yes. Like what I said, you know, ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. You're going to be signing up a new contract, you're going to be signing up right away. As I told you, you know, you're going to be landing on an unexpected job or you're, there is already a job that already awaits you. Good for you, Pisces. All right. Anyway, I'll see you again on the next forecast. If you want to have your annual forecast, just go to my website. All right. Your own personalized one. Or if you want to get your reading done, I'm just available for live phone readings or live video calls. Okay. It will be done in Zoom. So go and visit me at my website, sophiaclarifying.com. All right. Blessings to you.